In the mid-80s, MSF responds to the major famine in Ethiopia. An ethical dilemma arises when MSF witnesses the consequences of the Ethiopian government's policy of forced resettlement. Many tens of thousands are dying due to hunger, diseases, and cold. Should the organization stay and assist the patients under its care, or be vocal about the consequences of the massive deportations and the diversion of aid and risk being expelled? Within the Young International Movement, debate rages, but no agreement is found. One MSF branch speaks out and is later expelled from the country. The other decides to remain silent and continues its medical and nutritional projects. The example of Ethiopia clearly shows the complexity of combining the ethics of medical action with the desire to speak out. In 1988, an MSF team evaluates the situation in Halabja, Iraq, where it witnesses the horrendous effects of the use of chemical weapons against the civilian population. When we saw such a catastrophe, when we saw many others, like the Médecins Sans Frontières, a situation of famine or of extermination of an ethnic, I think it is impossible to remain indifferent. The neutrality politique that Médecins Sans Frontières defends, in any way, and that remains always the element of base of our charter, does not equal or does not signify the neutrality of the conscience.